Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan DiBiase. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a 100% free lead capture page using Weebly. So let's get right into it. So what you're going to want to do is if you haven't done so already, go over to Weebly.com and open up yourself a free account. Okay. And then once you do that, you want to click on add a new site and you're going to be brought to a page that looks something like this, where you can choose your theme. So for right now, we're going to use this selective journal theme for our capture page. So what you want to do is just click on that and go ahead and click on choose. And then it's going to open up this other little window where you're going to have to basically choose your uh, subdomain of Weebly. Now, don't worry if you want to use your own domain, you can do that. That's fine. You can uh, forward a domain from like GoDaddy or one and one or Namecheap or something like that to this domain name. But for the purpose of building your capture page on Weebly, just make a subdomain with their, uh, with their website. So we're going to have a little box like this. We're going to click on this top little thing here that says use a subdomain of Weebly. And then we're going to come here and we're going to choose a subdomain. So in this video, I'm going to make a capture page for building a business using your smartphone. Okay. Whatever your business is, doesn't really matter. This uh, capture page uh, creation style will work the same way. Um, you just want to change some of the things. Obviously, the name of your website is one of them. And again, this website name really won't matter that much uh, if you're going to be using your own domain name to forward to this website. So anyway, uh, let's just say smartphone biz. Okay, that's taken. Smartphone biz now. Okay, let's try smartphone biz now .com and click on continue. It's really just so I know which which website it is in my Weebly list. Okay. So then you're gonna have a page like this. Okay. And as you see, there's a picture here and uh and if you scroll down, there's some white space at the bottom. We're just going to clean this up and we're just going to make this into what's called a basic splash page, which is just going to be an image, a title, some text, and a place where somebody could put in their email address, click a button, and then be redirected to whatever site you want to redirect them to. That's pretty much it. So from here, the first thing that we want to do is we want to remove all the kind of this stuff up here. So if you hover over the logo on the upper left hand corner and click on off, that'll just remove that. Um, and then we want to get rid of these little menu items on the right hand side. So that's really easy to do. We're going to come over to pages right here and we're going to start with home. Now we're going to want to leave this home page. That's going to be our main page, but we want to hide it from this menu. So we're just going to click on this and we're going to click on hide and navigation. Okay. And then the next thing we want to do on home page is actually we want to choose under where it says header type. We want to choose a splash page. So that's going to change this page from a page with a header at the top of it and space at the bottom to an entire splash page. As you can see, it's all just one image now. Okay. Then we're going to get rid of the about and contact as well. So we're just going to back this up right here. You're going to come over here, click on about, and we're just going to click on delete. Okay. And then when it says, do you want to delete it? Click on yes. All right. And then you're going to do the same thing with the contact page. I'm going to come down here, click on delete. Do I want to delete it? Yes, I absolutely do. And now we've got nothing but our actual home page here. Okay. So now all we got to do is change the background put our, and put our elements in. That's really it. Okay. This is so easy. It's ridiculous. I'm surprised that it's free. Um, so what we want to do is we want to come over to design and we want to click on change background. Okay. And when you do this, it's going to load up all the backgrounds that Weebly has preloaded into their system. They actually have a lot of really awesome backgrounds built into the Weebly system. So you can scroll through these and use one of these if you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really cool way to upload an image from another free website called unsplash.com. Every single image on unsplash.com is 100% royalty free, meaning you can use them for commercial use. If you're selling things, if you want to, you know, make a website for like your business or something like that, you can use all of these photos. And as a matter of fact, if you click on this link, they give you their, they tell you, you know, their license is free and they tell you, they even give you some examples that were used with, with these images. So they got a whole bunch of really awesome, high quality, high resolution images that you can use 
for anything that you want to really do with anything you want with these photos. So what we want to do is we want to like narrow it down to what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to type in the search window, um, type in technology and hit enter. And this should open up uh, images that are somewhat technology based. Okay. And as you see here, we got some stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll through here to find one that we kind of like, actually, all of these are kind of cool already. I'm just going to try and see if I can find something that's really hits the mark. Maybe that one with the girl in it was a good one. Um, let's see here. That's actually a pretty decent one. I don't like the Google logo on it. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Okay. Something like this is perfect. Something like this is actually perfect for a capture page because you see how everything's blurred out. That's actually really great because you kind of want everybody to focus on what it is that they're doing on your page. You don't want their attention to be distracted by the image. And this is really, really good. And all it really does is show the phone. And we're talking about building a business with a smartphone. So that makes perfect sense. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to open up the image page. And then we're going to click on download. It's going to open up another page. And on this page, you're going to actually be able to save the image. So you just right click on the image, click on save image as. And I'll probably just save this to my desktop. All right, ba -boom. click on save. We're going to come back over to our early page and we're going to click on upload image. And you could drag and drop if you want to. I'm just going to click on uh, upload photo from my computer. Find this on my desktop right there. There's our background image. And then we're just going to click on that and it's just loads it in for you as soon as you select it. So there you go. So now we just want to click on save and it's going to ask you if you want to save it to all pages. Just click on that. There's only one page anyway in this particular case. And there you go. Now you've got your image on your page. And so now all we got to do is just enter in the elements that we want to use to make the page. Really simple stuff. Okay. So we're going to come back over to build uh, and we're going to enter in a title. All right, so in the title, we're going to throw that in there and let's just say, uh, make money on your smartphone. And it's good copy to uh, capitalize each word in your title, just in case you didn't know. Uh, press control A to select everything. We're going to center that all out. Uh, we're going to bold this out and then change change the color of this too in just a second to show you how we're going to do that uh, first let's throw some text in so we're going to grab our text element on the left hand side and just drop that in that's going to come up right underneath here um, and we're going to say let's say 100 percent free video reveals how reveals the fastest way to create a full-time income online using nothing but your smartphone and an internet connection. Okay, and again, you put whatever copy you want in there, whatever whatever works for you. So we're just going to uh, control A. We're going to bold all that out because I think that might look better that way. I'm going to center it. Uh, let's, uh, let's just underline full time in income. I'm going to do this like this. Boom. Break up the underlines. Underline. And there you go. Something like that. Okay. So now you've got your copy. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to make a form and put it on the page. Okay. So you're going to be doing this using whatever um, email marketing service that you use. I personally use get response. I think it has a great form builder in it. Um, and I'm just going to be using the list builder wizard here. So I'm going to show you along with this. Um, hopefully you're 
your uh, email marketing service has something like this. If not, you can use GetResponse. It's only, it's completely free actually for the first 30 days. Um, and I think it's only like $15 up to a thousand subscribers after that. So it's really, really great pricing and great, great service. As you can see here, there's some really cool stuff you can do with the form. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to kind of narrow down with the category here. Let's see. Uh, let's go to free course sign up. Let's see what we got here. Okay, actually, this is perfect right here. So I'll show you where we're gonna do this. So we're gonna click on use template. Once you find one that you like, just click on use template and it's gonna go ahead and open up your template builder for you. Okay, so now we've got our template open and now we can just tweak it a little bit so that way it'll be perfect for our capture page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here uh, and I'm just going to change this text from learning to earning. That's pretty much all I'm going to do there. That's kind of what jumped out at me that I thought was really cool for the purpose of this video. Then I'm going to uh, take this first name and I'm going to actually trash that field and I'm going to come over to where the... Uh, country selection area is and I'm going to trash that as well. Just have it where they can enter their email in. Then I'm going to move my sign up up to the top up here and let's try and center that as best as possible. And then I'm just going to come down and I'm going to grab the form and make it a little bit smaller. Oh, maybe a little bit too small there. Uh, something like that would probably be good. Okay, good deal. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to rip this color for some of the text on my page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'll show you a cool way to do this and click on style. And then you can see when you click on style, you've got your colors for the button. Okay, whatever you select and you click on style is going to actually change the style. Okay, so I'm going to actually first change this hover color. Uh, we're going to change that to like a yellow or something like that. So what that's going to do is it's going to make it so that way when somebody hovers their mouse over this button, it'll be like a bright yellow. So it'll like kind of grab their attention. Um, and then I want to keep this, this kind of like rusty orange color, but I just want to copy this hex code for this color okay so when you select the color it actually shows you the hex code for the color so i'm just going to press Control c to copy that and then i'm going to come back over to my weebly website builder and i'm actually going to just go ahead and go over to the whole word smartphone and i'm going to change this by coming down here and pasting in the hex code okay and there you go and now we should have this orange looking smartphone boom there you go um, let's do that here with this as well all right uh, oh what am i doing here paste it in close it up click on the orange and boom good to go so now the next thing all we got to do is just enter in our form onto the page. Very easy to do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my embed code and drag that over here. Okay. And I'm going to place that on here and then we're going to pop back over to our form builder page. And we're just going to, first we want to make sure we actually have our settings right for our form. So click on the little settings in the upper right hand corner. Um, and let's just rename the form. This will actually change the name of it. So that way uh, you have the you know what it is in your list in your in your web forms and get response so let's say smartphone biz uh, make sure you have the right list selected okay that's some, something that you want to make sure that you have going the proper way um i leave confirm opt-in off and then you want to choose your thank you page okay i use a custom thank you page so i can redirect them to a sales page later or some other kind of page some my own personal thank you page later so uh for argument's sake we'll just enter dandibiasi.com so we can use this example and show you guys how it works and let's click on save 
and we'll click on save and publish. And now this is actually gonna publish our form in GetResponse. So now we can use it on a website, okay? Cool thing is they give you the code on the following page. So all you gotta do is just go ahead and click on copy on the right hand side. Alrighty, and it'll copy it over to your clipboard, then come back to Weebly and come back to your HTML area here. And we're just gonna go ahead and paste that in, okay? And then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna center this out too. So the way you wanna do this is just come in front of the entire script there and type the word center. Alrighty, and then we're just gonna come to the end here and we're gonna type forward slash center in brackets. Okay, and that's gonna actually center out the form. Okay, now we just wanna click on some empty space here anywhere on the page, it doesn't matter. And this happens with Weebly all the time. It actually takes a second for this form to pop up. Um, what happens is, is it dials into get response. So it might actually uh, be just my internet connection. It might even happen faster for you. But if you don't freak out, if you know, like you don't see it pop up right away, it will pop up. So that's pretty much it. I kind of actually really like the way that page looks. And you could do other things like if you want to add spacers and change the way this stuff looks, that's fine. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to run with this right now. We're going to click on publish and we're just going to leave it as a subdomain of Weebly. Click on continue. And then we'll be able to open this up in a new window. So that way we can see what it looks like on the internet for real. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, cool. So now we've got this all set up. This is our capture page. Nice looking little splash page that we have here. And the last thing that we want to do is just want to test it out just to make sure that it works. So we'll say just test email gmail.com. Click on sign up and make sure it redirects to the right page and if it does, we're good to go. Okay, boom, there we go. And that, my friends, is how you build a 100% free lead capture page using Weebly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it fun and informational. If you have any questions, need anything at all, feel free to always reach out to me. I'm always there to field your questions if you need me. And please, if you enjoyed this, like it, subscribe, and share this video with your friends or someone else that you think might dig it. And head over to dandibiazzi.com and make sure you subscribe there so that way you can stay updated on all my newest trainings. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Peace.